Wonder Woman is the fourth entry into the DCEU um, universe and stars Gal Gadot as Diana Prince. Um, and the film takes in the story of her origins, um, shows her training on Femascara, um, finding the first male that she's ever met in Chris Pine's Steve Trevor, and then thus Steve Trevor taking her out into the real world and into World War One. Um, and I enjoyed this movie, it's pretty good. Um, very colourful, a lot more colourful than, um, say, BVS and Man of Steel. Although there is some parts which are pretty dark, especially the um, the World War One trenches scenes, but um, the scenes on Femascara absolutely beautiful, really colourful. Um, I, I enjoyed the origin story, the training aspect, and um, little Diana. I liked her, um, and I liked the battle scene on the beaches of Femascara. There are like three main battle scenes in this movie. And they are all excellent. Um, yeah, the the, the 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 fighting and the battle scenes are really good. I do like the um, fighting style of Wonder Woman, and I just really like the character. You know, she she had like a Christopher Reeves Superman type essence to her. You know, a naivety, a goodness. Um, you know, no cynicism or anything like that. Just a, a good old fashioned character, which I really liked. Which was quite a breath of fresh air in this um, DC world. Um, and I, I'm, I'm a real big fan of these DC movies, but sometimes when I'm watching, like, especially Superman films, I would wish he'd lighten up a little bit, which, you know, I have heard he's meant to do in the Justice League movie. So, but yeah, you know, Gal Gadot, she's absolutely brilliant in the role. A lot of um, stuff was said when she was cast. A lot of people didn't like her, you know, for Batman v Superman and Wonder Woman. Um... And, I, you know, in, in Batman v Superman, I, I thought she was excellent. She was one of the best parts in that movie. And she carries on with the role here. She's absolutely brilliant. Um, the chemistry between her and Chris Pratt is really good. Not Chris Pratt. That's Starlord. <laughs> Chris Pine is really good. Um, Chris Pine is really good. Um, I do like his Steve Trevor. There is um, aspects of um, Steve Rogers in his character. But that's to be expected in the, the type of film that this is. The film does sometimes feel like Captain America the First Avenger in the style of movie, but in a good way. Um, yeah, uh, what I, one thing I do like about the film is it doesn't beat you over the head with um, feminism. You know, she is a strong female character, and I do get the fact that you know this is this is you know the first female-led superhero movie that's out there, and it is the big one. Wonder Woman, so you know it is. This, you know a lot of um, girls and and women do have a hero to look up to now, but it doesn't beat you over the head with feminism. It, it's not a film that says you know women are fantastic, men are bad, men are useless, because um, Chris Pratt. I keep calling him Chris Pratt <laughs> because Chris Pine um, is really good in this, and his character of Steve Trevor is really good, and the chemistry between the both of them is fantastic. And they complement each other well, you know, they both, they both learn off each other. Um, they both bring different qualities to the film. Um, so that's, that is a good thing. I mean, there's like, there's a scene during the film, when it's when she's about to walk into No Man's Land. And Chris Pratt, uh, I've done it again, Chris Pratt. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. And Chris Pine um, tells her, it's called No, no Man's Land because no man can go out there. And I was half expecting her to say, well, I'm not a man, I'm a woman, you know, I'll beat, beat you over the head. But it didn't, it just, she, she just says, this is something I have to do, and then goes, and it is a fantastic scene. Uh, a true, a well and truly awe-inspiring scene, to be honest. And, you know, this movie, it's made me want to see Justice League even more now. I can't wait to see Wonder Woman in Justice League. I, I think she's absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm not sure if I if it's the best, you know, DC extended universe movie. Um, I still think that might be Man of Steel. I don't think it's, you know, I think it's just as good as the rest. And I, I do think there's like high praise, uh, you know, exceedingly well, you know, the praise because it is the first female-led movie. But it's really good film. Don't get me wrong, it is really good. Um, I 
wasn't too keen, you know, I wasn't too keen on the villains. I didn't really care much about them. There's um, Danny Houston's, can't remember his name, General Lindelof or something like that. Didn't really care for him, to be honest. Um, there was, I can't remember the actress, but she's called Dr. Poison. Interesting at the start, but then didn't really care much. And um, spoiler alert, but it's been said that they're, you know, especially during the last battle, um, there's a lot of CGI involved because they're bringing the villain Ares. And he looks really good. Um, but I do think he could have been better. Uh wasn't really keen on the actor that they picked for him, you know, I, I, not that he's a bad actor, just didn't think he looked the part, but when he was armoured up, he did. Um, and, yeah, you know, CGI villains, it doesn't really bother me, because I, 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 you know, I didn't mind Doomsday in BVS, so, you know, Ares being all CGI and that, but the, 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 the last battle is really good. The trench battle and the village, all in one, is fantastic, and the... Battle with the Germans and the, the Amazons on the beaches of the Mascara um, is fantastic. Like I said, you know that the the battles and everything are brilliant. Um, yeah, I I really enjoyed this movie. Like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing more Wonder Woman films, seeing her in Justice League. Um, and yeah, you know, all I can say is these DC Universe movies. The only way is up now. Let's just hope Justice League can be at least just as good. Um, so yeah, you know, I really enjoyed this film. Gal Gadot was fantastic. She's a fantastic Wonder Woman. So I'm going to give this a rating of A-. Um, yeah, like guys, I'm sorry this review's late, but I've been really busy, you know. It's like almost a week since I've seen Wonder Woman now. Uh, but yeah, write in my comments. Let me know what you think of the movie. Um, how do you rank it in the DC films? Um, are you looking forward to Justice League? Uh, like and share my channel, guys, and remember... Stay heroic.